Today, we're diving into the world of home buying, specifically one of the most important aspects, financing your dream home. Mortgages can be very confusing, but fear not. This video will break down the different types of mortgages and some of the pros and cons of each one. Having this knowledge will help you choose the best one that suits your needs. Before we talk about loan types, we need to discuss the term debt to income ratio or DTI. A debt to income ratio is a percentage that compares how much a person owes each month to how much they earn. It's calculated by dividing a person's total monthly debt payments by their gross monthly income, which is their income before taxes. Monthly debt payments can include items such as rent, mortgage, credit cards, car payments, alimony, student loans, and child support. Yeah, for example, if your gross income is $7,500 a month and you have $3,200 in minimum monthly payments, your DTI would be 42%. The lower the DTI, the better. Okay, let's kick it off with the conventional loan. This is the most common loan, making up over 70% of loans, and is offered by private lenders. The conventional loan typically requires a minimum down payment of 20%, but some lenders may allow a down payment as low as 3%. Typically, a conventional loan allows a DTI of no more than 45%, but some lenders may accept a ratio as high as 50% if you can show that you have financial reserves, like a savings account with a balance that equals at least six months of living expenses. A few benefits of the conventional loan is that it's widely available, has competitive interest rates, obviously if you have good credit, and that there are few restrictions on how you can use the home as long as it's legal, of course, and closing costs tend to be a little bit lower. The drawback for some is that a conventional loan generally requires a larger down payment than other loan programs, and you will need a minimum of a 620 credit score. It will also require private mortgage insurance if you put less than 20% down. However, if you can drop, however, you can drop the private mortgage insurance by contacting your lender once you get at least 20% of equity in your home. The next three loans that we're going to talk about are all government-backed loans. These loans are insured by the government, so in general, they're easier to qualify for, and they may have a lower down payment requirement, even zero down with the VA option. The first one is the FHA loan. This Federal Housing Administration offers this loan program and is great if your credit score is a bit lower. This program requires a minimum down payment of 3.5% and a credit score of 580 or above. Additionally, your DTI needs to be at 41% or lower. And because it's a federally backed loan, interest rates tend to be a bit lower than a conventional loan. But like all programs <laughs> we discussed, credit score, DTI, and other factors will determine the rate that you ultimately pay. One of the main drawbacks to the FHA loan is that it requires mortgage insurance premiums if you put less than 20% down, just like on the conventional loan. The difference is with the FHA loan, if your down payment is less than 10%, the mortgage insurance premium remains on the life of the loan regardless of how much equity you have. To remove the mortgage insurance, you would have to refinance the loan to a different loan program. Next up is the VA loan. Backed by the Department of Veteran Affairs, this loan program is available to veterans and active military personnel, and sometimes the spouse, depending on the situation. The benefit of the VA loan is that they generally require no down payment. They also have competitive interest rates and are easier to qualify for. However, it should be noted that just because you can qualify for a zero down payment, that may not always be the best decision. So make sure you talk with your lender and make an informed decision. A downside of the VA backed loan is while there is no down payment requirement, there is a funding fee requirement that ranges from 1.25% to 3.3% of the loan value. However, some exceptions can reduce the funding fee to zero. The final government loan program we'll discuss is the USDA loan. This loan program is backed by the Department of Agriculture and is designed to help individuals purchase property in rural areas. To qualify for this program, the home must be located in areas based on the USDA eligibility map, and the borrower must be at or below the maximum income limits of this program. The benefits of the USDA loan program are that it requires no down payment and has competitive interest rates, typically lower than conventional loans. A few cons to the program is that it's limited to qualifying areas, has a maximum income restriction based on the location of the home, and the USDA loans have an upfront loan guarantee fee, which in 2024 was 1% of the loan and a 0.35 annual fee. One final item we want to touch on is that the two types of interest rates that may be available to you depending on your loan type. There's a fixed rate or an adjustable rate. A fixed rate is the most popular option. Your interest rate stays the same throughout the entire loan term, offering predictability for budgeting. 
and common terms are anywhere from 15 to 30 years. The benefit is that it offers stability and predictability with a fixed monthly payment that's easier for your budget. However, if you expect interest rates to drop significantly, then a fixed rate mortgage may not be your best option. Adjustable rate mortgages offer a lower initial interest rate that adjusts periodically after the fixed introductory period. ARMS, as they're called, can be risky if interest rates rise significantly, so be sure to understand the terms. A benefit of the adjustable rate is the lower initial interest rate, which can save money up front and can be a good option if you plan to sell your home before the rate adjusts. A downside is that the interest rates can fluctuate, potentially leading to higher monthly payments in the future and therefore less predictability for budgeting. Just remember, choosing the right mortgage program is crucial. Talk to a qualified mortgage professional to discuss your option and get personalized advice. If you have any questions or comments, let us know and check back here often for all things Rocket City and real estate.